I'm selling my 1994 Ranger R72 Sport bass boat. It's 17 feet long um, and it has a 115 horsepower Mercury uh, two-stroke outboard motor which is also a 1994 model. Uh, both the boat and the motor are in an excellent shape. The, the motor runs really well. It starts on the second or third crank when it's cold and after you've run across the lake once and you got it up to operating temperature it starts on the first try for the rest of the day. Um, it's got a double console set up in here, one driver console and one passenger. And then it's got a full bench seat which goes all the way across so you could fit really three people on the bench seat if you need to. And then on the other side over there it's got a rod rack where you can lay your rods down for the passenger fishermen or whoever's fishing out of the back of the boat can lay their rods on the rod ramp. And it's got a velcro strap over it. It's also got a live well in the back which can be split up into two if you're tournament fishing to keep each angler's fish. And then it's got storage here. And it's got another storage over there for tack tackle or boating equipment or whatever you need. Uh, back here it's got three batteries. One cranking battery, uh, which is here to start the outboard motor. And then it's got two trolling bo motor batteries, one over there and one here. And then it's also got a, a, a Norco Genius three bank battery charger. Um, and it'll charge all three batteries at four uh, four amps per channel and all three of these batteries are in good shape they all hold like 12.6 volts when they're fully charged and just sitting there uh, I'll go up here it's got a Lowrance Elite 5 HDI 5 inch square screened fish finder and that's got GPS built in and it's got a lake map chip in it so right here is the chip it also can save your waypoints and your routes um, and you can, it's got contour lines for all of the different lakes that are major lakes. And then it's all of the gauges on the dashboard work properly. Uh, fuel RPMs, miles per hour, and trim. And all of these electrical switches work properly. The lights work, uh, the bilge pump works, the horn works, and the aerator works for the live whales. And then over there it's got a... Um, glove box which you can put your stuff in. Up here on the front it's got two full size um, uh, rod lockers, one here and one there, and they can hold pretty long rods, at least seven foot rods. I don't know if they can hold eight or not, but they can hold seven. And then up here it's got, uh, this is a live whale also, where you can use it for a cooler. And then the, the trolling motor here is only uh, like two years old. And um, we replaced the original one. It's a motor guide X3, 24 volt with 70 pounds of thrust. And it's got five speeds over here that you can control it with. And then up on the front deck, we've got a trim up and down button and a navigation lights button. And then this is on a ram mount, so you can adjust it. When you're standing up, you can see it in the light because it's easy to adjust. Uh, it's got a Ranger trailer. The tires are less than three years old. So the tires are all in excellent shape. No dry rot or anything. The wheel bearings are good. Uh, it doesn't leak any grease out the grease seals in the wheel bearings. The lights work correctly. It's got brakes on the trailer and a five-prong connection. It's got safety chains too. Uh, oh, I also forgot to put the two fishing seats in. It's got uh, pedestal seats that go in that hole right there, and one for the front deck as well. And I've got a cover for it. So, that is about it. 1994 Ranger R72.